Hey guys, I'm John Plant, a veterinary dermatologist at SkinVet Clinic here in Lake Oswego, Oregon. Today I'm going to tell you about demodectic mange in dogs. There are basically two major forms. One is the localized form with five or fewer lesions being sort of the cutoff that we use for that. That is usually a, something that occurs in young dogs, often will get better even without treatment. The one that causes more consternation for us is adult onset or juvenile onset generalized demodicosis with five or more spots. The juvenile onset generalized demodicosis is one that we sometimes see as a hereditary problem. There's some genetic tendencies for dogs to develop this little hair follicle mite called demodectic mange or red mange. And it can cause quite severe skin disease. Sometimes it's not itchy, but other times it can be quite itchy. But more significantly, it causes severe hair loss or alopecia, as well as sometimes very bloody and pussy sort of skin lesions, which can get quite stinky, as well as causing um, some severe disfigurement. So demodectic mange is a severe disease. In older dogs, when it develops, it can be a sign of more serious problems in the immune system like cancer unfortunately but sometimes just things like a low thyroid level um, or even taking too much cortisone like prednisone can result in generalized adult onset demodectic mange. So if we suspect demodectic mange what we do is something usually called a skin scraping to look for it. So what a skin scraping involves I'll just show you a little bit here taking a glass slide like this we put some mineral oil on it and then we take a scalpel blade which we're not going to slice your dog with but hopefully we'll just be scraping so we get some mineral oil on the on the scalpel blade and then we will scrape like this kind of sideways if you can see that sideways to try and get some of the um, the material usually we'll be pinching the skin while we do that sort of like this and then scraping that area to try and force those follicular mites out to the surface. So that's how we do a skin scraping to look for demodectic mange. We can also check for it in another way which is just plucking hair. That doesn't usually yield as many mites um, but it sometimes can be useful in areas that are a little harder to do skin scrapings in like between the toes or around the face on sort of a wiggly patient. So two techniques for helping us find demodectic mange mites when they're present, skin scrapings and plucking of the hair called a trichogram. If we diagnose it, we have some pretty good treatments for demodectic mange nowadays. These include Nexgard, Simperica, Revecto, and Credilio. If you uh, like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the SkinVet Clinic YouTube channel.